A huge brand new roller coaster may be coming to the UK in the near future. And no, I don't mean the tallest and fastest one opening at Thought Park. A few weeks ago now, the owner of a theme park in the UK was talking to someone and gave a very, very big giveaway about a brand new roller coaster coming to their park. And let me tell you, it is quite exciting. And it looks to be a really fast, thrilling and unique coaster for the UK if it happens. Well, either way, I'm going to talk all about this brand new coaster and I'm even going to try and remake it in a very short amount of time. Hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more in the future. It would be greatly appreciated. So then what has happened this past week? No, wrong thing. Keep getting it wrong. What happened a few weeks ago now? Where do I start with this then? I mean, if you thought we had enough new coasters coming to the UK this year, then hold your horses, because there's another one coming. Actually could be a really good coaster for the UK, and especially the North as well, because they don't actually have this type of coaster up there. Although we have one in the West, East and South of the UK. We're ticking off that fourth corner. But let me stop with the mystery. Let's actually debunk this new ride. For a while now, you may or may not know that Southport Pleasureland has been looking to build a roller coaster for quite some time now. And there was originally talks about a Thunderbolt Zamperla model thing. You know, one of these long orange and apparently really rough rides. And you know, that was planned along this sort of seafront stretch or just a stretch of the park. And that was a rumor a very long time ago and it said that they were gonna open it this year or last year and it hasn't happened, nor will it ever happen anymore. I mean, I even put this coaster as one of my top five most anticipated roller coasters coming to the UK and it's not happening. You lied to me, how could you do this? Although as much as it seems that like I'm complaining and that I'm annoyed about that, the replacement version and what they've planned instead is a lot better. And how do we know that this new ride may be happening? Well, it was teased in the most weird way possible. Because you know, when you see a teaser for a new ride, you see it on like a, a massive billboard or a teaser at the park on a sign or something. All the concept art is officially published by the park. Not this time, because it was found in the replies to a Facebook post. <laughs> Maximum publicity if you post it in a Facebook reply. Pretty much there was this conversation going on about Southport in itself and they were talking about the pleasure land and someone here suggested that they should build, I don't know, a hybrid coaster much like White Lightning in Fun Spot Orlando. Saying that they should get an out and back coaster and that would be brilliant along the park and sort of, I guess, the perimeter with the beach behind. There's a bit more yapping in that message, but then in the reply to that, the owner of the park, Norman Wallace, as much as he doesn't have a Facebook profile picture, which is really weird, you should get one, Norman. That is his real account before you think I've just been scammed. But Norman saw this reply to the Pleasureland Southport conversation and decided to drop an absolute bombshell with no words, just a picture of their planned brand new roller coaster. Yes, that is an image of a pre rendered sort of animated version of what the coaster will look like in its entirety. But looking into this image, we can get almost too much information. Clearly by the logo and the track type and sort of the way the layout seems to work, you can easily tell this is a Gerslauer roller coaster. It might be a Eurofighter or an Infinity model, I don't know, but it looks more like a Eurofighter. Which if it is that, then what did I say? North, you've now got this new Southport Pleasureland Eurofighter. East, Rage. South, you've of course got Saw the Ride and West, is speed in Wales. So it'd be the nice four corners of the Eurofighter in the UK, the Eurofighter Square. But obviously the ride will start on the left side of our screen and it will ascend this vertical lift hill before making its way into a beyond vertical drop. And by doing some calculations, that drop is probably approximately just over 10 foot tall. Now I'm only joking, of course. I think that's about 80 to 100 feet, can't lie, which is quite crazy. After the Beyond Vertical drop, it seems to go into this zero G roll looking thing. Although it seems to also stall out at the top. Like it sort of rolls up and comes outwards and then goes back down again. Like Untamed, but not round a corner. And having done that one on Untamed, it is a very strange but fun element. So I'd be excited to see if that actually is that. From there it goes into a classic Gerslauer Eurofighter vertical loop and uh, it sort of takes it from there into an airtime hill I think that is. And from there it goes off screen. We can't see what it's going to do after that element until obviously it makes its way into 
whatever that bit is. But on that bit, could there be a world's or UK's first element? Oh, is there going to be a launch? I say give us a washing machine or a tilt track drop. I don't know. It then goes into this wave turn or sort of corkscrew through the loop. It then goes into another inversion, very low to the ground this time, so that should have some good speed to it. It comes back to the left side and goes up into the brake run, whilst also doing an airtime hill there as well, I realise. And to be fair, looking at this layout, it is actually a really, really nice layout. And if you don't believe that it's at Southport, you can see one of their coasters in the background. So it's, it's definitely a rendering for them. And everything about how it looks, it looks really nice, you know. I love the colour scheme. I've never seen a Gerstau with that colour scheme ever. Of course, that coaster may not be the final product. It might not look like that. It might not even happen. You never know. But if it does happen, and if that is the real layout, then I don't like it. <laughs> no, hang on, that didn't work. I don't like the fact that I'm just seeing one image. I'd like to be able to sort of see it, envision it in a virtual game simulation. <laughs> I'm going to try and recreate this brand new Gerstlauer Eurofighter for Southport Pleasureland. However, I'm going to give myself 10 minutes this time, make it a bit more challenging and fun. There we go, so we'll come down from the drop there, maybe a bit taller than what I said. I said it would be 80 to 100 and it's 132, but that's okay. Here we go, we're working our way up. I don't think I've done this right, but what can you make out of a single image? See, this hill here seems to twist up to the right and then go into like an airtimey bit, and then it goes down underneath into whatever's next. And I don't know what that next element is. We'll just stick with a wave turn, I don't care. And then this is the final turn, the little airtime hill afterwards as well. We have literally one minute 30. I'm actually doing quite well for once. And there we are. I remember the loop being a lot bigger before I smoothed it, that's a bit odd. And here we go then, ascending the lift hill. I think I forgot to speed this bit up. And here we go, we're going over the top. Oh God, how bad is this gonna be? Not awful so far. I mean, it could do a bit of smoothing. Oh, that vertical loop is bumpy. Into the little airtime hill. Wow. Round. Wave turn. And that kind of kept its shape. Same with that. Oh, that is not banked. Yeah, I definitely didn't do that justice. What are your thoughts on this roller coaster? Do you think it'll happen? And if it does, where will it rank amongst the other Eurofighters? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and make sure you subscribe. Night night.